first thing I want you guys to make sure you're doing? First thing we want to make sure, guys, when we're simplifying this, especially being mathematically correct, um, do not set this equal to dy dx unless you're taking the derivative. So right now, we know that we cannot take the derivative unless we have the power rule, right? So when we have that power rule, x to the n equals n times x to the n minus 1. So we've got to have these as exponents. This is not written as exponents, right? So we know that we need to apply mathematical operations first. So I have the squaring. Now again, guys, we need to be comfortable with this 3x plus 2 squared is basically going to give us 9x squared plus uh, 12x plus 4. Okay, Work it out on the side. If you got a different answer, let me see and we'll talk about it on the show. But we need to be able to get to a point where we can just do those in our head. Basically, you square the first two terms. That's there. Square the last two terms, right there. Multiply the first and last, and then times it by 2. That's how I just, that's how you get the binomial squared. Well, then, I also need to distribute this. So I have y equals 9x cubed plus 12x squared plus 4x. Now, to find dy dx, rather than doing dy on the left side, dx on the right side, I just know that I'm going to, once I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, I'm going to divide by dx, right? What, that was the reason why I showed you guys that. So we can say dy dx is equal to, that's representing the derivative, just use the power rule. Bring down the 3, 3 times 9, right? Do I need to show that or are you guys comfortable with me moving forward? I'll do it one more time. Bring down the 3, x to the 3 minus 2, plus 12 times 2, x to the 2 minus 1, plus 4 times 1 times x1 minus 1. Right? This is what I'm doing in my head. I'm going to start doing this in my head from now on. So at least you guys know the process I'm doing. Sorry? It isn't 2. It's supposed to be 1. So we're going to write dy over dx equals 9 times 3 is going to be 27 x squared. 12 times 2 is 24 x to the first, which is just x, plus 4 times 1, which is 4. x to the 1 minus 1 is 0. x to the 0 is just 1. So we just leave it off like that. So just like limits, remember limits, we had to write you know, the limit of this is equal to this, like the limit of this function is equal to this. The derivative is going to be the same thing. The derivative of the function is equal to this. Notice, guys, how I changed from y to dy. Like, I didn't write dy dx equals this. I didn't take the derivative. All I'm doing is simplifying. So I'm still setting it equal to y. Does that make sense? Once I start doing the power rule, then I can convert it to dy dx. OK? Does anybody have any 